Uh, thank you so much. First of all, a warm welcome to everyone. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Ambassador uh, Tanmilalji, um, uh, for setting uh, such a great uh, context of India. Uh, and uh, thank you, Mr. Singhal, for uh, um, putting across uh, the overall thought architecture of how we can move forward in terms of India and Sweden coming together and going forward. So um, we've seen in many places uh, a lot of uh, talk about collaboration, cooperation, conversation. So in all of these words, you see the co uh, being there. And uh, unless you're not able to, so the way we were thinking about it is uh, in this is the fourth year of engaging India at Almadalen. We started with uh, broad ideas, basic ideas, diverse ideas coming together. And we've now reached a stage where I think everyone in this room uh, knows about the problems connected to sustainability. We don't have a good planet. I don't think we need to do too much of diagnostics or do more research. But everyone that I speak to seems to be saying that, yes, we know the problems. What are the solutions? And uh, the solution usually sort of looks at two levels. One is the kind of technology solutions that we are able to bring to the table, the way we are able to go ahead and collaborate, the different kinds of investments that we are able to bring together. But there's also a uh, other uh, little bit of a, a first principles based thought architecture saying that, you are able to collaborate and cooperate and bring in a co-solutioning uh, aspect only when you are able to speak to each other in a respectful and direct manner, in a manner where the power dynamics between who you are speaking to, so do you speak to someone or do you speak with someone? So I think the to and the with are very, very important uh, concepts. So the whole idea of co-solutioning is something that we've looked at from the point of view of going and getting some of the conversations going, uh, getting some of the connections going. I think Uwe brought about something very, very, um, very um, powerful. He, he brought about this whole idea of a singular story, right? And in many ways, if you start going ahead and looking at stories as multiple stories, multiple vantage points, newer areas of growth, newer regions, new uh, ways of innovation, different ways of looking at societal problems at scale, right? Then you are by default, you have no other option but to go ahead and bring in other stakeholders, other growth areas. So it could be in India, it could be uh, places in Africa, it could be Sweden for sure. And the reason why Sweden has a unique um, uh, place in history is the democratic ethos that it brings to the table. It has always been democratic. It's been diverse. Uh, it's been diverse. And Almedalen Week in many ways is a representative of what Sweden brings to the table for the world. Uh, and what uh, Mr. Singhal, uh, the ambassador and the other participants from India would also bring to the table is the fact that uh, we as Indians also come with a deeply diverse uh, democratic ethos. Uh, some may call it chaotic, but we call it as, uh, as, as a way to go ahead and solve problems. So that's the whole idea of co-solutioning uh, for the planet. Uh, I won't take too much amount of time and I hand it over back to Rupali. Thank you so much. Thank you.